Okay, first off, uh, this left axle is not blocked off. If I block it off, it makes the other side turn twice as fast with half the amount of torque. So what I've done is gone into the differential here and welded the spider gears together uh, to lock, which means if I had an axle out on the other side, both of them would be turning at the same uh, RPM. Uh, this particular truck differential is geared at six and a half to one, six and a half to one uh, gear ratio. For what I'm doing, I think probably five horsepower would be enough uh, power. Hooking up to the little tr tractor, I've got a, a slip clutch apparatus here. You can find them on a lot of farming equipment, old bush hogs and etc. The junkyards uh, uh, seem to be full of them. There's a lot of them around the junkyard. That can be set where if you get in a bind, it'll just slip. It won't. Uh, it won't be a shock on the system. Uh, I think one would need to, if he was using some type of uh, uh, tractor or something, he'd need some type of a shear pin or shear bolt clutch. If somebody's using a little uh, electric motor of some type, five or ten horsepower motors, they probably wouldn't need it. it just if something happened, it just stalled the style the motor but for what I'm using it with uh, use this little slip clutch because it hooks up to the PTO and it's already available etc. Uh, I run it a long time without a flywheel on it but it's so much uh, smoother and nicer to have uh, a flywheel. This is uh, a brake drum. This is a brake drum from the opposite side and it weighs about uh, 80 pounds, somewhere around 75 or 80 pounds. Okay, uh, the differential is going to come with four uh, rims on it. So the shear shearing mechanism is a piece of rim cut at a, a angle or a slope. This is another piece of rim that I just laid up uh, against it and cut a hole in it about the size that I figure I would be uh, cutting. Uh, this is a little chute and you want to get it as close as you uh, can for the shearing or scissor uh, action here. Turn that back just a little bit, son. Other way. Okay. You have brake shoes uh, on here. You want to or on the other side you want to take off and this side too to get everything out of the way. So what I've done is just took, taken a part of the brake shoe and welded right in here. The rim and the brake sho shoes are going to have about the same contour or radius as the, uh, the, the shear and rim there. So turn it slow. Okay, so this rim will go up and lay right in, right in there, and make a good uh, cut. It inserts right up in there, hole right there, and that will help secure you. With this long section here, it's going to be weaker, but it's running in a groove there so that it can't. Uh, can't bend. It can't go anywhere because it's running in that groove. Turn it back some, son. Also, if there's any strings or fibers attached, attaching the blocks, I've got some little hooks ground in right there that will catch the strings and make sure that uh, it separates all the uh, pieces. Uh, the uh, thickness of this, these uh, rims are about 3 sixteenths, uh, and this one here is also a, a rim. It's about 3 sixteenths metal. This is the 3 eighths, but you've got to make sure you got some heavy 
stuff down uh, below that that all this is uh, uh, secured to. And cutting a slab, if you turn, whenever you put it in here, if you put the oval shape in that direction, the force of it will will split the rim, the the slab in half, and cut it at the same time. So you're making two or three cuts at each motion as it as it uh, uh, spins in there. Also, if you're cutting big stuff, heavy stuff, say a four by four, I might have to cut every other turn and give it time to get up its uh, momentum if I'm really cutting uh, heavy stuff. I don't have a stop on it because if I'm, say, cutting uh, four by fours, I probably want to cut them about an a inch long. If I'm cutting one inch strips, I can cut those at about three and a half or four inches long. So it, I, and depending on what type of wood I, I need, so I've chose not to put a stop on it so I can uh, uh, get whatever wood I need as I'm as I'm cutting it. If you had your stop uh, set let's say for two or three inches and you're dealing with uh, let's say four by fours or two by eights or something like that you'd be uh, loading your chunker down it couldn't it couldn't handle it so I've, I chose just to go without the uh, uh, stops.